So, I've already opened the package because curiosity kills. <laughs> oh my god, that was skillage, guys. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Sophia and I am very pleased to have you here. Today's video, if you didn't know already by clicking on it and reading the title, we're going to be trying out Motel Rocks. It's a brand that I've looked at for ages, it's all over Instagram. Some of your favourite influencers are always shopping on there and I thought I'd give a real honest review of what I think of their clothes on my size 12 body. In all honesty, they don't really show that much diversity on their Instagram page, so you don't really get a look at how the clothes look on girls who are bigger than a size 8 really. Even if your clothes may not necessarily look as good on bigger girls, if that's what they think. I still think it's important to represent all sizes as much as you can, especially since they do sell those sizes on their website. But I thought it would be really interesting to try out their clothes, firstly to see if the quality is good, the quality matches the price because the price point is quite high especially without discount codes and also just to see if it would look good on someone who is bigger because it's good to see things on all different types of body sizes and shapes because everyone is beautiful guys before we get started i did just want to mention i would really appreciate it if you guys took a second looked down subscribed and maybe gave the video a like because trust me you're going to want to stay around you're going to want to stick around with us because we've got a lot more to come and it's very exciting stuff guys i'm really enjoying it so far and hopefully with your support i'll be able to continue and grow as much as i can i'd also really appreciate it if you followed me on instagram it's at underscore severe's gram i post pictures on there and i keep you guys updated on when i post on youtube as well so i'm just going to stick it here for you guys to to have a look at and without further ado let's just get straight into the video we basically got here it's actually quite a small package i got eight items so for eight items it is quite small but they managed to like compress it all in here so i was quite impressed by that because i mean it's still plastic packaging but if you can use smaller packets then that's great it says yes you got it anyway so we've got eight items i'm going to take a little lucky dip and we're going to see what we've got in here i do just want to do a little disclaimer obviously i have lumps and bums and whatever i am a size 12 i am average and that is okay there's nothing wrong with being a size 12 there's nothing wrong with being bigger and there's nothing wrong with being smaller but i don't see much representation for girls of my size especially with this brand in particular so i was very interested to try it out myself and we shall see my sizes do range quite a bit i've got i think i've got one small item in here the rest are pretty much medium except for one pair of trousers which i got in a large because I assumed that they would run small, so we're going to see that now. Um, so yeah. Okay, so the first top we have here is the Mordi top, which is in like an oversized Jaguar print. This was, if I can find it, this top was £24 full price. And this is the top that I got in a small. And this in itself is out of my comfort zone. Not even because of the, the print, I don't mind animal print things. It's more so the style. Like I would never wear something like this normally just because I don't really like how my arms look, but do you know what? It looked so cute on. I think you can kind of see what it's going to do. So this ties around the neck and then this ties around your back. Yeah, it's really cute, but it isn't something I would wear normally just because I don't think it'll be too revealing or anything, but I just think I don't really know if I have the facilities, as we know. We've discussed this already. It's not stretchy material, if that makes sense. It's quite rigid. So I'd be interested to see how this fits, how this looks. But the reason I got it in this small is because I don't really have much going on here. And this is the kind of top you'd have to wear braless. So I wanted to have it to be quite tight so that I have support. So I'm gonna try this on. We're gonna try it on with some jeans because I'm wearing joggers right now. Because comfort's everything, guys. It's raining. It is a bit warm still, I won't lie. The windows are closed, I might open one. I might, might crack open a seal. Um, just because I'm a bit hot, but yeah, we'll see. Okay, so this is the top that I was trying on. And I'm not 100% sure how to feel about it. I don't feel 100% confident in it. I mean, looking in the mirror, it doesn't look awful. And I wasn't able to tie it up to the best of my ability. So this is the back. It's very open. It's backless. Um, ignore my back because it's kind of disgusting. I've only been able to tie it up like, like that so far. I'm glad I got small because a medium definitely wouldn't have... It would have been too big like even now i've got like kind of gapy areas and that could just be because i haven't tied it tight enough but it's quite tight around my neck already so it would only have to be tighter from the back but i don't think it looks horrible but i just don't know if it's for me i'm not a massive fan of my arms being out all the time just because i have like flab but we can ignore that it's fine bodies have flab we're allowed to have flab i tell everyone else they can have flab so why can't i have flab you know i need to stop being in that mindset so now i'm going to try on the next thing okay so the next thing that i have to try on is this top 
This is a Rito, Rito, Rito top in pretty petal green. I always have a habit of talking while I'm opening the plastic bags and then you just can't hear me. I'm like, that was kind of pointless, wasn't it, Sophia? This is the top. I got this in a medium. So this is what a medium would look like. Obviously it has the ruching at the front. So you will like yank that up a bit. So the top is 25 pounds, which I don't think is too awful. It's uh, the same kind of material as the top I'm wearing right now. So I'm gonna go and try this top on now and I'll let you guys know what I think about it. Okay, so here I have the top on again. Um, what I was about to say was I put it on with a bralette just because that's how I feel more comfortable personally. But you guys can do whatever you fancy. It's definitely something you can wear without a bra if you wanted to. Okay, so this is the top on. I think it's really cute. I really like it. It is a, in a medium. I am happy with the sizing. It's just, I think, probably here I could have done with a small. But then I feel like if it was on my arms, it would have been too small with a small. Basically, it's just a really cute green pattern. I just think it looks really nice. I don't know what you guys think, but I do think that it complements me really well. So I think it's just showing that they clothes can be worn on bigger sizes and look nice too, guys. So, you know, if you've been hesitant to buy them, don't be because they are really cute and I really like them. They are £25. And the back is just like this. So the next item, I'm keeping on with the theme of this same top here. I bought it in another style because I thought it was really cute. I did know I was gonna like it, I could just tell. Here I've got like a lilac floor kind of print one, but I also bought the matching skirt. It's a co-ord basically, guys, it's a co-ord. I'm not 100% sure how this is gonna go down. I'm not sure how this skirt's gonna fit, but I also got it in a medium, so we shall see. I'm a bit nervous. The whole print of it might, might be a bit much for me. I don't know how it's gonna look. I'm not sure if the skirt's gonna be too short, too long, or too small too big so I will let you guys know in the next shot okay so I'm just gonna start off with saying I am like low-key high-key actually obsessed with this look like it's so cute you guys can't fully see the skirt yet so I'm gonna pan you down and then explain things you might not be able to see my wonderful face I apologize in advance I've panned you down now yeah you can I'm pretty sure you can see but there's so much like reflection of light that I can't tell if you're in focus so I'm really sorry if you're not but here is the co-ord look. I just feel so like girly and it makes me feel so happy. Like, I just think it looks so cute, you guys. I've got both items in a medium. Obviously the top is exactly the same style as the other top, just in a different pattern. Now I really like this, like, because it looks, if you pull up the skirt high enough, it looks like a cut up piece dress. I like my bralette just because it makes me feel more comfortable but again like I said you can wear it without a bra and it would look super cute as well so I'm just going to do a little rotation for you guys so you can see how it looks at the back again it's not too short at all I do wonder though if you were a taller girl because I am only five foot three I do wonder if it might be too short but also I almost think that if there were any improvements to be made with this it would be the so the back would stay exactly the same lengthwise because I think that that's good. But I feel like the front should almost be a bit higher because that's what makes me feel comfortable. I don't know if anyone else gets this, but when a skirt sits at a certain level, when it's meant to be a mini skirt and it sits at a certain level on your leg, it just feels so uncomfortable. I don't know if anyone else gets that. Let me know your thoughts on the look because I think it's so cute. Um, but yeah, I really like it. The only comments I would have is that... I have got quite a lot of room, can you guys see that? Quite a lot of room, and it, the skirt would look nicer if it did like fit properly, if that makes sense, like it, it would just hug the right areas better, and it would just look cuter. Um, I think the way I would style this is like just with some Air Force, I think that would look really cute. You could also wear it with heels, dress it up a little bit if you wanted to. Air Force and some like cute little ankle socks, I just think it's a vibe. The top again was £25 and then the lovely skirt which is called the Gael skirt in oh the pattern's called Lilac Blossom. The skirt was only £26. I just think it's so cute like for a summer's day. Some people might think it's too much if you're not into patterns. I don't normally wear colourful things like too much. Not that because I don't like them. Just because I don't, like, I don't tend to go towards them. I prefer versatile pieces that I can wear with anything. If you think about it, the top can be worn with pretty much any jeans, any trousers that you wanted to wear it with. It's a very versatile piece and not even the skirt. You can wear with a black top, white top, purple top, green top. You can wear it with anything, you know. If you can make it work, you can make it work, hun. Let me know what you guys think. Because again, it's just proving the point that you don't need... I'm not saying I look like a model. I'm not saying that, because obviously I don't. 
but I'm just saying it just proves the point again that you don't need size 4, size 6, size 8 models only to make your clothes look good because I think I look nice in this. I'm not sure what you guys think, you can hate on me all you want, I don't care. You can have bigger models and you will look fine as well, like your brand will still be represented in a good way. Sorry, don't mean to get all emotional about it, but it is hard to see when the only influences that you associate yourself with are skinny girls, like no offence, but it is true, there's nothing wrong with being skinnier and there's nothing wrong with being bigger. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it, but it is annoying when you only see certain brands only working with a girl of a certain type of look. I watch a lot of YouTube and I do see what people what brands work with and I'm like they look amazing in that of course they do you're not going to work with someone who doesn't look good in things but I think especially with younger girls and like bringing them up raising them with the right sorry raising them with the right mindset that your body doesn't need to be a certain way to be perfect to be loved is so important nowadays just because unfortunately I was not raised, like my parents didn't do anything or anything like that, but I was brought up in an environment where I've seen, like, I think that now I have to look a certain way to be loved, be appreciated and wear certain clothes, i.e. this whole video is literally clothes I never would have worn because I didn't think I could. Like this is going out of my comfort zone and I love it, I think I'm obsessed and I would get a lot of wear out of it. If we're trying to make girls love themselves more and um, like in the best way like if you look a certain way and you're healthy then that's fine if you're unhappy then yeah fine change it but if you're not unhappy the only reason you are unhappy is because you don't look like that or you know boys aren't liking you but they're liking them like that's not okay and like i just think i'm not blaming motel rocks for all of this by the way i don't mean to get into this whole thing but i just mean it starts with brands like this, influences social media. Like, that's where it all stems from. Like, let's be real. We just need to try and change mindsets in the best way possible. Use more diverse models because even nowadays it's still a thing. Brands clearly are not just using more diverse models. And I don't just mean in sizes, I do mean in colour too. Like, use more ethnicities. Like, it's important. Sorry to get so philosophical about it, guys. I didn't mean to get like that. This is the skirt. I love it. I am obsessed. You know, it's cute. I love it. So, the next item, now this is completely out of my comfort zone, and again, that is okay, and I'm probably not gonna like this, but I did wanna try it out, because I wanted to try out the different aspects of Motel Rocks. Tops, skirts, dresses, trousers. And speaking of trousers, here we are. We have a pair of zebra print flares. Now, their flares are actually very expensive. I'm 48 pounds. Zoven trouser 90s zebra, black and white, obviously, because it's a zebra. This is the only item that I bought in this haul in a size large because I assumed that Motel Rocks would run quite small, so it's quite lucky with the rest of the items that they do fit. But trousers is something that are very temperamental with me. Now, they do look, to be honest, I was gonna say they look quite big. I mean, it depends who you are, like, for me, they look fine. Because I always say things look big and then I put them on and then my thighs basically absorb the whole thing. So they end up fitting. So it's fine. It's not something that I would buy normally. Not because I don't like them, because I actually really do. But I just don't think I have the style to pull these off. Like, I mean, I probably could, to be honest, eventually like learn. And I feel like these would look sick, honestly. They're a denim type material. But they're not denim either, I don't think. They're not like, you know, when you buy a pair of flares from like Misguided, Pretty Little Thing, something like that. When they're like stretchier, these are like almost jeans. They're, if I was to compare them to anything, it would be like the Jamie flares from Topshop. I'm going to try these on now, find a top of my wardrobe that I can chuck on with it. And let's hope that it looks cute. Okay, so I have them on now. And yeah, so they fit me fine. Like I did say, they were going to be tighter on my thighs, I could kind of tell. But what I will say is that... There is like a gay pigeon, like that thing where like it goes down, they've kind of flattened my bum a bit firstly and secondly it's doing that thing where like it's going down at the back and I prefer when my jeans are higher at the back and a bit lower at the front rather than higher at the front and lower at the back. I don't know if anyone else gets that, I'm going to try on with the belt in a second but I was just going to analyse the jeans firstly, or well, jeans, flares, whatever you want to call them. So. 
don't know what you guys think of the front look but I don't think it looks too bad at all I actually kind of like that it's this denim material because I have a pair of flares from Urban Outfitters which are like almost lycra I don't really know how to explain it but I can really see my hip dips in them whereas when I'm wearing these like obviously my hip dips are still there but I don't know I don't seem to an analyze them as much as I would when wearing the lycra type of flares obviously this is just a body suit from Zara so what I've done here is if I basically tuck in that gapage because this is, all of this is like gapage this is still comfortable and it just looks a lot nicer but unfortunately that's not the case with these now obviously if I got a museum it just wouldn't fit this area so like that's impossible but if you guys I can't I literally cannot see the camera anymore but like if you guys want to see how the flares look they are a bit long on me but they're not too bad I feel like I'd end up having to wear them with like <laughs> heels or something <laughs> basically they're a bit long but I'm 5'3 so if you're taller like don't worry I don't really know how they look on the camera right now I could look absolutely ridiculous and not know but yeah like I said, massive gauge, but we're gonna try and sort it out with a belt. Okay, so it doesn't help that the belt I have is actually too big for me. It's not really solving the issue that we had. These are them from the back. Also not as high-waisted as I'd want them to be, but it's not awful, it's not terrible. If everything was right about them, I'd love them. I need to get more comfortable with wearing patterns because I think they're so cute. And it's also just like this whole flared look. Like, how do I do this? Someone give me ideas. I could wear them with my Air Force, but then I even think they would still be too long, so maybe I have to take them off as well. Right now, perhaps I wouldn't get the wear out of them that I'd want to for paying £36. I don't know, guys. Let me know. Let me know what you think. My jean size is size 12. But sometimes I have to go up, sometimes I stay the same, but I never go down. No one's ever staying at one size, really. Everyone's body is different, so saying that we're one size is kind of damaging, actually. Like I said before, everyone's dimensions are different. My thighs are bigger than other girls' thighs who wear size 12. It, it's all relative to what you like and what your desired comfort level is, really. So the next piece we have, I actually forgot about. And it's also, like, such, so out of my comfort zone. Like, perhaps one of the most out of my comfort zone a top that has flames on it okay and it's not the flames that is out of my comfort zone it's the back of this top i don't know if you can tell but it's completely backless it has two ties so i'm a bit nervous to try this on to be honest just because not well, because i don't like my back but again there's no bra with this this top is a medium it's actually really nice quality like inside is like very soft so i'm gonna try it on flames are obviously they're a bit out there, but I don't mind the flames. I actually quite like them, but we'll see how it looks on and I'll get back to you guys in a minute. Okay, so here we have the flame top. Obviously it looks like a completely normal unsuspecting top from the front and actually feels really nice on. And then you turn around and you've just got a whole different look. Now, obviously I know I don't have the most defined back, skinniest back, whatever you want to call it. I don't really care what you think of my back, but here we have the lovely top i just think it looks really cute i don't hate it at all and it's got this little tie at the back it's really good though because it tightens here when you tighten it so it makes the front a little bit tighter too what do you think of the top let me know i don't actually hate it i thought i was actually gonna completely detest it i'm not mad and she is 28 pounds when i'm old and wrinkly i'm not going to want to get my back out because it's going to be old and wrinkly whereas now i'm not old and wrinkly so why in the hell can i not get my back out do you get me and I don't hate it, I just think, what, on a night out, what a sick outfit. Like, the hair and everything as well. Oh. This is what going out of your comfort zone does to you guys. You, you end up finding things that you never thought you would find. Motel rocks. More representation on, because actually, your clothes do look good on bigger girls. It's just, I was made to think that they don't, because you didn't put them anywhere. I was like, you know what, I've got to bite the bullet, I've got to try. Here I am. I tried. And look, I'm happy. A close up of the look. Here's the high neck, the flame detailing. I'm actually low-key obsessed with it. I think it looks sick. Okay, so the next piece that we actually have is our first dress of this haul. I'm quite excited to try this out because I thought it looked really, really cute on the model. This is the Galaka dress in the Ditsy Butterfly Peach slash Red. This is the dress. Now, the thing is, I got this in a medium. And in all honesty, it looks quite big. I don't know if it's just me. But it does look quite big. I could be eating my words here. I could try it on and actually it wouldn't even fit. We shall see. I'll try it on. I'll let you guys know how it goes. And yeah, we shall see. 
Look, with every haul, there has to be a flop. There has to be a failure. I don't even know if I want to show this off camera. Ladies and gentlemen, I am the protagonist in a film about possessed dolls. I don't feel too secure in this. Um, I, let me pan it down. It's safe to say this is a no-go. This is a mess. The length of this is all wrong for me. I'd want it to be, um, even then, I think that's a bit short almost, but about here. It's a flop, it's a flop, it's fine, it's a flop, but it's fine. This is £38. Right, um, do yourself a favour, don't spend £38 on this. This material is the same material as those tops from the beginning. You can see something like this almost, which I don't hate, but also I'd want it to be a little bit, that's almost too short, but you know, I think there are improvements that could be made. With every haul, there has to be that one item you're just like, this is tragic. Otherwise, it's not a haul. And last but not least in this haul, we have one more dress. And this is the Datista dress in Dragon Black. And it's basically just this little shift dress. Oh, it's so cute. I wouldn't wear it just like on its own, just because I think it would look weird on me on its own like this. But, you know, with like a nice little oversized shirt, maybe over or underneath maybe. Or a little turtleneck in the winter with a belt. I think just... It's a look I want to try it out and see. I'm also a bit worried though. The straps are quite long, so it might just end up coming down here and that's just not a look, that's not a vibe. So we'll see how this looks in the next clip. Now the belt isn't done up properly because I've had to do it more than it's got on, basically. I don't, that's really bad English, but it doesn't look bad. I'm not actually mad at it. You guys might not like it. I would not wear it without a belt because it looks... It does no favours for anyone. Obviously it's got this little slit. This is it from the back. It's not bad. I would say, I don't know if I could have gotten away with a small. I maybe could have. Also like, that happens. So, you don't want any accidental mistakes to happen when you're wearing this dress. So that is the end of this haul video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that I could show you guys that actually Motel Rocks is accessible to all and that we are able to shop wherever we want. Even though they don't necessarily show all sizes on their Instagram and on their web pages. You know, hopefully this will encourage them to do so because it might put off a lot of people of my size and or bigger or smaller, slightly smaller, off buying their products just because they're not sure how they're gonna look on them. So you know what Motel, this isn't a bad thing necessarily, but maybe a good thing. Hopefully that you guys diversify who you've got representing your brand as well, just so that we can see things on all different types of people, body shapes, etc. I really hope that you'd follow my Instagram as well. It's at underscore Spheresgram, and I'm gonna leave it right there for you all. I do update my, about my YouTube on there as well. So if you guys wanna keep up to date with that, then be sure to follow my Instagram, but also maybe put on the notification bells and you'll know when I post. And before we finish, I just wanted to mention, please do go and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. We're currently approaching 200 subscribers, which is much more than I could ever imagine. So thank you guys so much for your continued support. And also drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it. And I will be sure to do many more just like it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.